Good afternoon, it's Heather Doyle Fraser and I'm here today to do our afternoon pick-me-up. Um, I'm going to start with a reading from my book, 40 Weeks, A Daily Journey of Inspiration and Abundance. I just opened my book randomly as I've been doing this week and I came to week 26, day 2 and week 26, day 3. This is in a time of releasing. There's four parts to my book, and this is the third part. Strength lives in your vulnerability. Embrace it today. Experience your emotions and grow in your strength. Let their release help and heal you. That's week 26, day two. And then on the facing page, week 26, day three, the stars whisper to me, we are connected, you and I. And I whisper back, I know. Well, I really like these two for today. One, because um, I was feeling horrible today. So I, I think maybe the weather just ended the week, all the things. So um, I like that little message from my former self saying, (laughs) you know, it's okay to be vulnerable, embrace it, feel what you're feeling and um, allow it. And if you can release it. Um, And then the second part, the stars whisper to me, we are all connected, you and I, and I whisper, I know I'm feeling even though physically distanced, I feel very connected right now to people. So um, I I like those two readings for today for me. I hope that they give you a little bit of a pick me up. Um, I'm also noticing that this morning, you know, when I found out it was going to be a little bit rainy and gray, I was like, oh man, the sun isn't out today. And then I remembered Uh, something that my husband says all the time because his grandfather or grandmother, I'm not sure which one, I have to double check on that. But one of them used to say, we have to make our own sunshine today. And I was thinking, yep, I got to make my own sunshine. So some of the things that I did today to make my own sunshine, I went for a walk, even though it was a little dreary. Um, I put on my pretty Dytology scarf that I love because it makes me feel sunshiny even though it's blue but you know I can be the sun and that can be the blue sky and um, another thing is I have been drinking my cup of mug of tea today which just feels pretty awesome when you hold it and drink it and um, makes me feel kind of comforted and warm and like I'm getting a hug even when I'm not getting a hug Um, so and I love this little mug that my sister-in-law gave me Um, so those are some of the things, and I did a meditation this morning that was helpful. Again, building that net of your daily rituals to help yourself out, um, and set you, set yourself up, um, to have a better day. Um, but then sometimes you just feel down. And so I was also remembering, you know what, this is what I was telling to myself, (laughs) you know what, you didn't sleep that great last night. And sometimes when you don't have a good night's sleep, that kind of sets you up for a little bit harder day too. And so I was looking in the book that my husband and I just recently published, Freedom. It's a book for teens. Why can't I do this? Okay, there we go. Um, But it's a book for everybody. And I, you know, I know we have a section on sleep um, and it's in chapter six. I read something from chapter six yesterday, um, which is help is on the way. Um... So I'm going to read this little section on sleep because I think that um, I know a lot of people are having a little bit of trouble sleeping right now and it might be just a little helpful um, tonight and tomorrow night. And I'm, I'm only doing these videos on the weeknights, but um, or the weekdays, but um, you can always come back on replay and watch this. I'm going to read this section and do the little um, practice that we have for deep rest. So I hope that it will help you this weekend um, and maybe tonight. Sleep. The woods are lovely, dark and deep, but I have promises to keep and miles to go before I sleep. Robert Frost. I love that quote. Um, There you go. 
So when we are going for it and heading towards our valued path, we often are moving in such new territory that we may have trouble sleeping at times. You may have trouble sleeping at times, even when you're not going for it and when you're just on cruise control. And I have to say, when you're experiencing a really difficult time, obviously you're going to have trouble sleeping. Um, When you're heading outside of your comfort zone and difficult thoughts and emotions are showing up, sometimes you have trouble sleeping. And as a reminder, humans were and are vulnerable when we go to sleep. In the past, predators like lions, tigers, and bears, oh my, could sneak up and attack at night in prehistoric times. So when you close your eyes at night, thoughts of the day show up and anticipations of tomorrow often arise. Thoughts like, what did I forget to do today? That argument I had with my sister was awful, I'm so mad. Why did I do that today? How could I be so stupid? We may replay mistakes or events of the day over and over, wishing we could have done something differently. And if all that isn't enough, at a certain point, we begin worrying about whether or not we'll actually go to sleep. Isn't that the truth? Oh no, I've got to go to sleep now. Um, Sleep may sound like something we don't need to really worry about or pay attention to, but it's a big deal. When we become sleep deprived, our threat and protect system gets triggered more easily. Remember we talked about the threat, drive and soothe system. Mind knows we are compromised and it needs to keep, the brain knows you could mistakenly walk out into the street in front of a moving car by accident. All of us fall into this sleep trap at one time or another. So if you find yourself struggling to sleep, give yourself a break because it is normal to get caught in this struggle, especially now, oh my goodness. Um, The sleep trap is when we begin to get anxious about not being able to sleep and then try really hard to fall asleep. I, we've all done this, right? The harder we try, the more it activates our threat system, which says we are under attack and should be sleeping right now. Then when we don't feel safe, we are not designed to put our guard down and fall asleep. The way out of the sleep trap doesn't look like the way out. The way out is to give up the goal of sleep. It's sort of like the wisdom of the archer who becomes frustrated because she she can't seem to hit a bullseye. Her instructor who was watching tells her to let go of trying to hit the target and rather just feel the tension of the string, feel the arrow's feathers against her cheek and listen to the sound of the string as the arrow is released. Essentially, the teacher is telling the archer to be mindfully aware in the present moment and detach from the outcome of the target. In following these instructions, she actually hits the bullseye. So what I is do a practice for you um, called escaping the sleep trap, deep rest. So this practice, you can also find it on the book website, um, mindfulcompassionforteens.com. All the audio is free, so just go ahead over there if you want to hear this one. It's in chapter six. It's practice number 11, and um, but I'm going to read it for you right now, too, Um, and maybe it'll, it'll just make you feel a little restful even right now. So escaping the sleep trap. Here is something really interesting. Deep rest is almost as good as sleep because your body is not struggling and therefore it is even without actual sleep. A former professor at Brown and the University of Texas Medical Schools and an internationally recognized expert on sleep, Dr. Matthew Edland, talks about this in his book, The Power of Rest, and how we can tap into the healing power of rest. This isn't just a random fun fact. Science tells us that this is true. The way out of the sleep trap is a gradual process of learning how to let go of the goal of sleep and to instead aim for deep rest. Deep rest can be practiced by using our new brain's capacity for imagination. A image of someone who is holding you in compassionate care and um, with kindness and love and just always has your back. If you can bring that image or find that when you are trying to rest deeply, try it out during the day or as you are winding down in the evening before going to bed. So first... We'll start our slow rhythm breathing. Remember, slowing your breathing down slows your body and your mind down. So 
we did that practice the other day, inhaling for a count of three or five or whatever feels comfortable and exhaling as if you're blowing out a candle for a count of three to five and just finding that rhythm that feels comfortable and good to you. And then as you do that a few more times, hear a calm, comforting voice in your head saying, mind slowing down, body slowing down. Inhaling, mind slowing down, exhaling, body slowing down. And then as you're breathing, in that slow rhythmic way and it's feeling comfortable to you what images give you a sense of safety and calmness as you slow your breathing down and allow yourself to reflect what people or animals have a sense of safety acceptance and love so as we're breathing we're thinking of those people and places that make us feel safe where we feel safe and feel comforted and feel a moment of understanding or joy. And then one of the things that um, I do is put my hand on my belly or put it out over my heart. And so when I'm breathing, I can feel that comforting touch of my hand and even imagine that it is that um, compassionate other or my that safe place um, with their hand on on my on my chest or on my shoulder, even on my face, and um, that is a comforting feeling as you're doing that slow rhythmic breathing. And now, use your new brain's ability to imagine a person or a pet who loves you deeply, telling you in a gentle voice, to just rest. Or if it's a pet, expressing this message through the look in their eyes. Imagine them saying it or, or expressing non-verbally, just rest, just rest, gently over and over again on the inhale and exhale. Now the mind is a mischievous little monkey that is always jumping around, grasping at all kinds of thoughts and emotions. However, the way out of the sleep trap is to employ the monkey mind by giving it the job to pay attention to your soothing rhythm breathing and to focus on this image. The monkey mind is not a good boss, but by giving it a job and making it our employee, things go much better. You will find with practice that you will get better and better at escaping the sleep trap and that your monkey mind will become more cooperative and even helpful. So that's my little sleep sleep um, trap practice, um, equaling deep rest. And I hope that it might have made you feel a little more restful or relaxed right now, a little calmer. And remember that if you're feeling like you need it tonight or tomorrow night or any night, um, I've been pulling it out a lot. So use it as much as you want, as much as you can. And know that um, I'm going to see you on Monday and be here for another afternoon pick-me-up, and I hope that you feel a little better. I know I do, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.